Most people in America are familiar with what is and isn't their rights, but if you're looking at me, you're looking at me going, wow, you don't look anything like you used to, and that is truthful, and that is no lie. I don't look like I did 20 years ago because I'm frankly older. I don't look like I did 20 years ago because frankly I've lost my hair. I don't look like I did 20 years ago because, well, I didn't have as much fur on my face. And I don't look like I did six months to a year ago because someone's been cutting the fur on my face. The truth is they've been lying to themselves about what they've been doing. They've been committing an illegal and immoral act. It's an immoral act because my beard was grown for my faith as a pagan priest or a person who has spirituality, and that was the purpose of me growing my beard. I was at a position in my life, in a position of where I was in my station of life, that I felt that I had the right to grow out my full beard. And openly, I've marvelously inherited from my late father good genes to do that, despite the loss of hair up here. But what I'm talking about is how that persons and group of persons have been lying to themselves. They've been lying to themselves about the right to vandalize a human being face. They've been lying to themselves about the right to do something that causes them personally in front of the Lord Jesus a disgrace. They've also been lying to themselves because under the law, technically, it's a form of mutilation and possibly molestation, but more importantly, it's a sex-based crime. And it becomes a sex-based crime because I've not lawfully said that when I'm sleeping, you can cut my beard. I didn't say that any time in my lifetime did I offer you that permission or consent. And the bottom line is when I'm talking to you like this, I'm not being facetious. I'm telling you the truth. That my beard was down to my navel, which is about your belly button, if you know, and openly someone cut it off. Gradually, slowly by slowly, someone's been thinking that their group of people or one person who's been abusing my life had the right to enter into my sleeping space and put their hands on my face with a pair of scissors. Now you think, well, why doesn't he wake? Well, how many of us know that a tug on our beard might wake us up, but someone who's very quiet and stealth and ninja-like might not wake someone up? It's not a act of love, is it, when you have cut someone's beard? You see, a beard is a part of secondary sex characteristics, so let me explain why it's a sex-based crime. You're cutting off my beard, which is allowing me the visual aspect of my male presentation and my fashion. And openly, what's the reason for which you're doing it to me? You're doing it as a form of abuse. And your abuse is I'm teaching you something. So no, all you're teaching me is that you are a liar to yourself about what you are in this world to me. You're also lying to yourself about your rights over my human body. You are lying to yourself about what you're doing when the reason for the purpose of my beard is for my faith, and that is absolutely a hate crime under any standard of hate crimes. It's also a sex-oriented or sexual-oriented crime because you seem to be getting off on it because you're doing it all the time or you're engaging other people to do it. And my question to you is at what point, at what moment, did you forget that America is not about creating slaves? And at what point did you forget the law, that human, the human rights law that says, I am never your slave, in which you can do anything you like to? And we're only talking about the fur on my face. We're not talking about the other things you've done to me illegally and immorally without immorality, immorally without my lawful consent that have to do with other parts of my body. Let's be clear. You're lying to yourself about who you are in my life because this face belongs to me, not you. In America, we have rights, and what you're doing is abusing someone physically, so it's a physical assault. And when you peed all over me, that was a physical assault under the law. When you allow flies to attack me or bees to go after me, that too is a physical assault. And openly, it's not because I'm unclean. I'm unclean because you've been peeing on my clothes. That is a vandalist act.